Well, welcome back to Mulek Science's channel, Planting the Future of Food. And joining the discuss, we have Martin, the Chief Technology Officer, joining us. First and foremost, welcome, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank no. you for calling me. Yeah, such a pleasure to get you on. So I want to dive into some of the products that you guys are working on. First and foremost, for newer audiences out there, what is GLASO? G-L-A-S-O. So um, GLASO stands for Gamma Linolenic Acid Safflower Oil. It's a, um, it's a unique crop innovation where safflower plants were engineered to produce high levels of GLA, which GLA is basically a nutritional oil for, for the health industry. Um, and just to compare traditional crops producing G GLA has around 20, 10 to 20 percent GLA content, whereas our safflower crop was engineered to have more than 50 percent. Yeah. Do you want to talk about some of the main competitive advantages versus maybe some similar oils? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, this can be a, a, a bit technical, but um, gamma linolenic acid is a it's an important omega-6 fatty acid, which um, is made from linole linoleic acid in our body. But this process can slow down due to factors like inflammation or any kind of poor nutrition. Those processes can slow down the production in our body of GLA uh, coming from LA uh, fatty acid. So uh, and GLA ultimately converts itself into DGLA, which is... Uh, a super important fatty acid that helps support healthy cell function and basically mainly reducing inflammation. So do you want to just expand a little bit more on kind of the nutritional oil uh, importance for the health industry and human consumption? Yeah. Uh, so dietary sources or supplement of GLA can help overcome challenges in its natural production benefiting conditions like arthritis, uh, other inflammatory issues. Um, and we can mention other applications like uh, coronary heart disease, weight maintenance, skin health, dermatitis, infant nutrition, and pet food. So those are the main applications where we can think uh, GLA to, to have a, a lot of benefits. Yeah, and do you want to just zoom out a little bit? Tell us why Glasso is relevant for maybe Mulex operations. Yeah, thank you. That, that's, an, that's, a, that's a great question for us because um, the Glasso basically allow us to leverage our expertise in producing GLA to enhance the production of other products in our pipeline, like our soybean programs. You, you may or your audience may know that we also have soybeans producing animal proteins um, in our R&D program. The underlying technology is the same. So basically, everything that we are doing for GLA, we can capitalize that knowledge in terms of um, the regulatory pathway, um, the stewardship programs, working um, deals with growers, with the, with the industry. We can capitalize all of the knowledge and transfer that to other crops in, in, in Mulex pipeline, like, like, like our soybeans. Yeah, definitely appreciate the insight there. How many acres have you guys planted in this campaign and uh, whereabouts? So we just finalized uh, our first industrial campaign uh, a few months ago. We we had around 600 acres in Idaho, in the American Falls area, where we have optimal conditions to produce uh, the uh, not only safflower, but safflower producing GLA, that, that we have optimal conditions uh, there. Yeah, how many tons are you guys looking to produce? Uh, I mean, what are you projecting? So we're projecting to produce something around 50 to 60 tons of uh, of GLA. So we're not basically, we're not using all of those 600 acres to convert it into GLA. A part of those 600 acres, we need to use it as seed stock for the, our next season. Um, but most... Um, 70% of that, or maybe a bit more, will be will be used for crushing, and we expect something around 50 to 60 tons. So are there any others that can be named or that you'll be pursuing? Yeah, so um, we are very focused right now in dietary supplements and uh, in terms of application, and also very focused on, on the pet food industry. But we see a lot of op opportunities in, in the weight maintenance uh, 
real where we can um, propose GLA as a as a as a as a good opportunity for that space. We are also um, getting into the skincare applications where we can uh, treat um, situations like dermatitis. Those I would say are the ones that we should focus next in 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 our in our pipeline of application for GLA. Now, do you want to give us a little bit of insight into perhaps the timeline when this product will be available in the market? So we are we are currently so we just finalized our crop production. We are currently working on the on the crushing and the, the oil production. So by early 2025, we should have material available not only to commercialize to current clients, but also to develop new customers. So uh, whoever wants to try our product and and try new applications and new product development, we will have also samples available to them. Yeah, I think you gave a, a really nice high-level overview here. Maybe just to finish up, what are the next steps for Glasso? So up, up to now, our efforts have been dedicated to scaling up the seed stock to support our first uh, industrial production, which just happened. And we needed to ensure that we have enough material to explore new markets in the next phase. So basically, next phase for us is expanding our commercial team, our commercial effort, effort, and look for new opportunities and develop uh, some sort of unexplored territories in terms of market for GLA. On that note, we'll pass it off to the viewers as always. We'd love to know what you think in that comment section and consider subscribing as news catalysts come down. We're going to bring it to you here. But on that note, we look forward to catching you in the next one.